Like this could, I was rooting for you could have been cute. Hey there family, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to the joys of Christmas. So, today, by the title you know, I shopped at Pretty Little Thing. I'm a first time customer and I wanted to check out their site. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a plus size lady, I feel like I'm in between the regular sizes, what is regular, what is normal, and the plus sizes. So shopping and online shopping for me is pretty interesting. If I find a place that I like, I stick to it because I don't know if other shops are going to have my size, basically. Especially if you live outside of the U.S., I feel in Europe it's harder to find cute styles that flatter of more curvy body uh that are actually in nice and cute styles okay so i'm not gonna make this a rant video but i've been stocking pretty little things for a while now i've seen a lot of influencers wear very cute clothing from there and at first i thought it was just only skinny people um but it was also some beautiful voluptuous ladies rocking pretty little things so i I came, I bought some stuff, uh, not to make it too long of a video, but I do have some thoughts around my experiences, so I'm gonna give that first, and then I'll place like a timestamp in the description box, or with the YouTube timestamp function, if you wanna skip to the try on, you can do that, but I'm also gonna share some things that I liked about shopping at Pretty Little Things, and also some things that I was just like, okay, that was that was not as nice as I would have wanted it. Okay, so first things first. When shopping at the website, I was already familiar with the Pretty Little Thing website because I stalked them multiple times before I actually bought. And um, I think the site is pretty cool, looks very nice. The only thing is the way that I like to shop because I am a certain size, like I'm a UK size, 16 or size 18 and those are the sizes that for some odd reason shops don't seem to have a lot of it's usually smaller and a lot smaller or it's usually a lot bigger so i like to select styles based on if they have my size available the only thing with the shopping experience that was very noticeable and not in a good way is that the filter would select options and that were supposed to be in my size but then they didn't have my size so that was something that was a little bit mm. another thing was i was searching for loungewear this haul that we were talking about that i'm filming now was supposed to be a realistic haul like where are we going like you need loungewear you need uh sweats and stuff like that because you're staying home you're being chill for some reason i couldn't find a lot of sweats that really fit my style that and that that they had in my size um so i did find like two joggers which i'll share another thing was i was also looking for some dresses to wear to instagram so you know i wanted loungewear and i wanted instagram dresses i ended up finding some instagram dresses which you'll see but for some reason they didn't have full length Instagram dresses and when I say Instagram dresses when I try to dress this on you'll understand in my size I was shopping with Shanity who is an intern at our company if you watch the vlogs you already know Shanity she's a few sizes smaller than I am and she could find those dresses shopping on pretty little thing was kind of it was uh, it, uh, mm, 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 mm. that's how I can describe it I did shop 
right after black friday after cyber monday maybe you know they still needed to get their things in it's also like a pandemic so i take that into consideration other than that i feel like it was a pleasant experience i feel like the site is it's good they were very quick with shipping i should hope so because i paid 20 euros for very quick shipping so yeah and that was good the quick shipping it came like a day earlier we love that because sometimes you pay 20 and 50 euros for next day shipping or quick shipping and it doesn't even come on time so other than that i really like shopping there so i've been talking for ages let's go to the clothing okay so like i said i actually wanted to do a loungewear haul right so let me just start with the few and i mean two loungewear items that i actually found on the site so this is a jogger i got a gray jogger and a black jogger but this is a size uk 18. let's do this okay 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 listen this might seem like something regular regular like finding jogging pants or joggers that you like but i've been looking for so long and i actually like these so um they're high-waisted i think i think they're high-waisted but i'm not gonna wear them this high i think i'm too short for that i might just wear them lower it's a bit baggy here that's my only thing like it's very baggy here this is can you see it's not a man's jogger so it's like why are you baggy here and the more i look at it the more i don't like that part hmm. 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 okay okay Let's try the next jogger. This one is in a size XL. I have no idea why they're suddenly working with XL. Let's just try it on. Yeah. 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 I usually am a extra large, which is why I bought this. I can get it over my hips, can get it over my butt, and uh, that's where we stopped. Next item. Okay, so I'm a little bit annoyed at that. Um, we're just gonna go to the Instagram outfits. I was looking for long dresses. I couldn't find a long dress that I liked in my size. There were dresses that I liked, but they just weren't in my size. I found two dresses that I did like. They were shorter dresses. And then when I checked out, one of them was sold out. So they refunded my money very quickly in a very good fashion. But I wanted the dress. I didn't really want my money. That's why I gave you my money. But anyway, um, so I have one dress to try on but i have it in two sizes so let's see i have it in a size 16 and a size 18 like uk 16 and uk 18 i'm starting with the 16. so i open it and the material is a lot thinner than i thought okay uh, this is what it looked like on the website i don't know why but I assumed it was kind of going to give some structure to the body. I don't think we're doing that today. Let me go see how much this dress was. One second. Y'all, this dress is 35 euros. Like, I know that's not, like, in fashion, like, luxury prices, but I, I, I don't know. Don't know what I should say. Let me wear the 18. I don't know, y'all. This is the 18. You know those invisible uh, zippers that they have? Like, me and the invisible zippers, we... Mm -hmm. Okay, so... This is how the dress is supposed to be worn. lie this this 
the top is cute i'm not gonna lie the top is cute it's a bit more flimsy than i would have thought but the top is cute it's the rest of the dress that's the issue for me like the dress is just existing the dress just showed up it's not doing anything like this could i was rooting for you could have been cute like give me something what do you think i need something to be cute okay or else i'll have nothing to wear to instagram and i'll end up not having pictures and i know it sounds like third world problems third world problems <laughs> the third world problems are actually real it sounds like first world problems but i'm trying to be consistent on instagram and that's that's hard for me so first world problems it is yeah no 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 okay so we've been a little bit negative we've been having negative experiences up till now but i'm gonna need us, i'm gonna need us to turn it around okay so we are going to find positive things in this video this video is gonna end positively i'm telling you now okay while shopping i did notice something while they didn't have dresses in my size like a lot of dresses that i liked in my size they had a lot of two-piece sets that i liked in my size so that's why i'm saying i have hope so we're gonna try the black one first we have hope okay so we're starting with the skirt it's a size 16 i can get it on which is nice um but it has the same invisible-ish type of zipper oh my gosh why but with it being on from the front i feel like it looks good i feel like it's it's doing something like the ruching you know you know greek goddess yes from the side i don't know i don't know i don't know but like i said we are focusing on the positive we are turning this around i i i probably won't keep this skirt if i'm honest i avoid zippers like this zippers like this give me anxiety so let's try on the top hey boy y'all i'm sad man the top would have been the top would have been good the top would have made points temporal the top would have excelled in life and just brought me to the next level along with it but apparently when pretty little thing says uk 16 they mean uk 16 like 14 and a half um because usually i'm at 18 at the bottom 16 at the top so i wanted this to be snatched so it has stretch so i bought 16 for the top it has boning and everything she has structure this no if you want to know how a pretty little thing sizing is size up size up apparently size up <sighs> okay i have one last set <laughs> so this is the last item this is the same type of skirt as the black one only it's velvet and it has a split i also bought this in the uk 16 i'm a uk 18 down here and still the skirts fit better than the top did and i'm a uk 16 on top so let me just take off the skirt and then we'll focus on things that actually have potential so i wanted to take off the skirt because i didn't want to be distracted by something i didn't like while i was trying to focus on the potential of another item honestly i really did not want the entire video to be a struggle video this is the item it fits it's not really doing anything it's too big it's not giving structure and if you're not going to give structure why is there boning so the thing for me is i ordered the black top in a 16 
it was too small like i couldn't even get it on and then i buy the 18 and then the 18 is like it fits but it's not doing anything it's not even like it's just there and it's like how many items fit me today two and it's like it's just there let's gather our thoughts okay so I took some time to be in my feelings and am I completely out of my feelings now? No, no. I think I can tell you what my experience is in a whole without just being in my feeling. Will I be shopping at Pretty Little Thing again? Will I give it another chance? I probably will. And you're just like, girl, did you not see the entire video? Um, huh. I say I think I will only because i see the styles that they offer and i see the sizing that they offer granted the sizing is a little bit wonky but you need to remember that i live in europe but i have had such a hard time finding clothing that i think is cute like the design is cute in my size that I can't say I'll never end up on the website and I'll never give them another try because <clears throat> basically I'm desperate. So <sighs> the, the entire experience, like I said in the beginning, um, sizing, like the sizing that they have available on the website, it's like, okay, is it, is it gonna, is, are they gonna have my size? And then you get the items and it's like, is their sizing wonky? some of it fit and then the other thing was size 18 and then it was big the skirts were size 16 if it wasn't for the zipper it would fit and then the top where i'm usually a size 16 didn't even want to go on i feel like their sizing is a little bit all over the place if it comes to plus being a plus size woman and shopping there or being a bigger size and shopping there i don't know y'all <laughs> I, I feel like Pretty Little Thing is like such a hip brand and the designs that they come up with are so cute that you actually want to make it work. So the fact that this video was so all over the place says a lot because you want to make it work. It's Pretty Little Thing. Like... They have cute clothing and you see the really cool people on Instagram shop there. You want to be cool. So you try to make it work, but it doesn't feel feel nice shopping on a site. And you're just like, should I? I know I'm losing weight to be healthy, but should I lose weight quicker to wear clothing or? Yeah, so I don't know. I'm a chill on pretty little thing for now. I can't say I'll never give them a chance again because I want to know like the shopping experience was that uh, because it was after Black Friday was it because of COVID and stuff like that because the things that they did have control of like the shipping that was super quick in a really busy time period in the Netherlands so it's like I feel like their service is Good. that part of my experience was nice but it's just the rest that was yeah look at the bright side we're trying to find a bright side i knew darn well i should not be spending my money this entire haul was like almost 300 euros so i knew i should not have been spending my money so now i get to send everything back and then get my money back if you liked the video or if it was valuable give it a thumbs up let me know if you're a fan of pretty little things and you already shop there please leave some tips because like i said it's kind of like the cool brand and i got fomo i don't want to be missing out on you know i don't have a lot of places where i can shop so if there's somewhere that i can make work for me that i can shop like I want to do that so yeah if you like this video give it a thumbs up share your tips and i need to see what i'm aware to instagram because i uh uh
If you want to know what I end up wearing to Instagram, follow me at minafajoy13, and I'll see you over there. Have a wonderful day, you wonderful human being.